And she plants a tree by Kai Nakashima, narrated by Ariana Nakashima. One morning, on his way to school, Kenji saw an empty field with nothing in it. There were no plants, no trees, no birds or animals. It made him sad. Trees are an essential part of a healthy ecosystem. They provide food, shelter, water, and materials for many animals, insects, and fungi. Kenji decided to do something about it. He would plant a tree. The next day, he came back with a sapling, some soil, a trowel, a watering can, and some determination. Trees promote health by taking toxins out of the air. They hold moisture in the ground and give nutrients back to the soil. They provide environments for creatures that live underground, above ground, and even in the tree bark. Kenji came back to water it every day. The tree drank up water through its roots, took in nutrients from the soil and the sun. Slowly but steadily, it grew. Leaves, and then buds, and then... Trees need water, sun, fertile soil, and a lot of biodiversity to thrive. A tree's needs will vary depending on its natural habitat. Flowers. Trees grow flowers to attract animals and insects that help to spread pollen. Pollinators are attracted to the colors and smells of blossoms, just like we are. All of the pollinators found what Kenji had grown. Hummingbirds, butterflies, bees, moths, and many other insects came flocking to drink the delicious nectar. They were very happy to find some food. When animals drink nectar, they are also spreading pollen, which fertilizes the tree's flowers, causing it to bear fruit. Thanks to the pollinators, the tree grew bunches and bunches of berries. The wildlife came back to enjoy the sweet fruits. Kenji picked the berries, too, and shared them with his friends. When food is present, wildlife is usually near, doing their own part in keeping the ecosystem healthy. Kenji was so pleased with what he had done, he wondered what would happen if he planted more trees. The end.